Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about arithmetic mean and geometric mean. So let me first tell you what is arithmetic mean or it is written as AM. So let's say we are given a two numbers. One number is A and another number is B. So the arithmetic mean between these two numbers is A plus B by 2. Okay. So similarly, what is geometric mean? Okay, geometric mean is, let's say we are given again the two same numbers A and B. So the geometric mean will be root A times B. Okay, and if we are given the numbers up to like A, AR, up to AR power N minus 1. So the geometric mean for this will be A, B by A power N upon N plus 1. Means B by A will be R in this terms okay so in this way you need to find out the geometric means so now let's discuss about the relationship between am and gm means arithmetic mean and geometric mean so as i have told you am is a plus b by 2 for the two numbers a and b and while at the same time gm is root ab okay so now to calculate the relation or to check the relation between these let me write am minus gm is a plus b by 2 minus root 2ab so taking the lcm what we will get is a plus b minus 2 times root of ab so this is the square of root a minus root b okay upon 2 again so certainly students i can say that if it is a square of any number okay then square will be always greater than 0 okay so from this relation this is am minus gm so what i am getting here is am minus gm is always greater than equal 0 so I can write am always greater than equal gm. So this is a very very important identity student which will be very helpful for you guys to solve any question means am is greater than equal gm. Okay. So now let's discuss a question based on it. So students here is the question given to us in which am of two positive number is given to us as 10 and gm of these two numbers is 8 so let me write the condition for this am is a plus b by 2 which is 10 and root of ab which is given to us as 8 so from here we are getting ab a plus b is equals to 20 and ab is 64 by squaring on both sides so i can use the formula for a plus b square will be 400 from this okay or without using this formula I can directly find out a minus b which is a plus b square minus times 4ab okay so a plus b square is 400 into 4 into 64 so that will be 400 minus 64 into 4 will be 256 so that is plus minus 12 so a minus b we are getting as plus minus 12 students so from these two equations or a plus b as 20 taking 12 one time positive and another time negative so we are getting 14 and 16 or 16 and 4 and 16 and 16 and 4 as a b and again a b okay one time a will be 4 and b will be 16 or a will be 16 or b will be 4 okay so I hope students that the question based on AM and GM is pretty clear to you and in the next lecture student we will discuss some of N terms of some special series. Okay, so stay tuned with me for next lecture on special series. Okay, thank you. Happy learning.